God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Wednesday, October 12th. Today's devotional is based on Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night declares knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, their voice is not heard. Yet their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In the heavens he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom from his wedding canopy, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and nothing is hid from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening our eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and keeping them there is great reward. But who can detect their errors? Clear me from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from the insolent. Do not let them have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by Susan W. Johnson. Silently the whole world testifies aloud, and the observer must give his or her attention to the natural world. Then, even what is in, inanimate testifies. And we're left with this to do today. Recall a time and a place where the distance between God and earth felt very small. Let us pray. The world is full of thin places where heaven and earth meet. Thank you for being no farther than a breath away. Amen. Now receive into your hearts and into your lives the blessings of our Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. But until next time, whenever that may be, I pray that you remain safe and healthy. That wherever you go, whatever you do, your actions and your words speak only to a heart filled with love. God bless.